Hello, today we're looking at cell differentiation and specialization. And we're going to take a look at what it looks like in animals and in plants, but let's start off with animals. So as you can imagine, we've got a sperm cell that can fertilize an egg cell. That's called fertilization. Then we get the process of cell division, including mitosis. And we lead to, after just a few days, a small ball of cells. And these are embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells. And these cells can actually differentiate into other kinds of cells. So here's just three examples. And this is the process of differentiation into specialized cells. Differentiation into specialized cells. And we've got just three examples here. So the example at the top, these are supposed to be muscle cells. Then we've got nerve cells. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of different types of cells that make up the human body. In fact, approximately 216 different types of cells make up the human body. And these make up all the different tissues and organs needed to make up an individual organism. These are all specialized cells. Okay, so the basic process is that we have fertilization, then cell division, and then differentiation into specialized cells. And as we said, the specialized cells make up specialized tissues, specialized organs, organ systems, and finally the whole organism. So this is the, how the process starts. We can also talk about differentiation and specialization in plants as well. And the particular regions we talk about are those highlighted there. These are called meristems. And these are found at the root tips and shoot tips and a couple of other areas as well. But if we magnify that little root there, what we'll see is right at the very tip, we get cell division, including mitosis. Further up, the cells elongate, so we call that cell elongation. And then we have cell differentiation. And again, differentiation leads to the production of specialized cells. In this case, we've got xylem and phloem. So the process in plants is we have cell division, and included in that is mitosis. Cell division, cell elongation, and then cell differentiation into specialized cells. For example, xylem and phloem. These are specialized but also we have a whole bunch of different types of cells and tissues that are produced by this process as well that the plant needs. Okay, so that's an overview of cell differentiation and specialization both in plants and animals, a couple of key terms and key terminology that you need to be able to use. But other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.